everyone welcome back to the channel i know it has been a very long time this is my last video uh, i apologize for that and this video is actually not going to pick up uh with my transmission tunnel uh that is done but i had a little bit of an issue where i deleted the intro of that video and a bit of work um and while i'm trying to salvage that uh, i just got a little frustrated and decided you know what let's come out and do something else uh, so we are going to be installing my emergency brake cable today. So going back to the list, um, that is actually under my roadworthy column. However, because I want to have everything in place in sort of the back end of the truck before I send it in to do my exhaust and put the bed on, I am going to jump to that. And it should actually be uh, a pretty simple thing to do. And actually, I do need to do that because as I said in my transmission cross member video, or sorry, as I said in my drive shaft cross member video, I wanted to make sure that I have everything sort of sorted out um, for where I'm going to put the mounting holes for that um, before I paint it, because I do only want to paint that one time because it's going to go chassis color. So uh, let's just jump into my emergency brake cables. The easiest way to explain how this setup works is to just rough mock it on the bench here. So you have this end, which will go into your caliper or whatever pulls your emergency brake. This cable obviously runs up to the front of the truck, or in my case, the side of the chassis, where it goes into this cable stop, and then this piece here. So imagine I had two cables. There'd be one on this side going to this side, and then obviously the one on this side. This is a stop, uh, so you'll cut the cable to reach this stop nicely. And then this unit here, this end goes to my emergency brake, and then once this is pulled, it pulls the cable. Imagine everything was fixed here. It would pull the cable, which would pull the cable on this end, actuating your emergency brake um, it's honestly really simple and very similar to a bike brake system a traditional sort of cable pull bike brake um, and uh, obviously i'm really really familiar with that so this all seems very straightforward the, the end of my e-stop is actually threaded so this from here over is actually going to be removed and i'm just going to thread this onto the end of that and when it pulls it'll pull everything as it should be when you get this kit they recommend that you do the long side first and this is actually my long side so I'm gonna go ahead and mock all of this up and as you can see I need to put a couple of uh, clamps on this just to, to tie it all together and that's definitely what I want to do before this is painted um, but everything should mock up pretty well um, it's not gonna be terribly exciting so I am just going to sort of mock this up and then I'll meet you on the other side and show you what's mocked up not going to do a time lapse of it you can see that i actually ended up with a nice hole here for the cable to go through i'm just going to open that up a little bit and then uh, i'm going to slap a grommet on there and everything should work out really well okay so as you can see i have started my routing and my looming of the cable so i don't have the inner cable in right there but i do have the outer it's going through here up um, i was going to use a p-clamp but those are ugly so i found another solution to put a guide for the cable um, I am going to add another one of those brackets there. I'll show you what I what I'm using for that But basically it's a brake line. It's a Russell brake line holder um, But instead of holding a brake line I put a grommet in it and it is now holding my uh, Parking brake cable and then the cable goes underneath here underneath the cab and across uh, I was gonna run it with this, but I just couldn't find a way that Honestly looked too nice now that I'm using these brackets. I realized that I could probably mount some of these brackets here and run it across that way and it would look kind of clean but I think this method of going underneath the cab is really going to be sort of the best uh, way to do things. It's going to be nice and clean, nice and tidy, um, no fuss, no muss. But let me go over to the other side and show you what the other side looks like. Okay, so here's where things get real as they say. So um, I've got the cable, it comes across there, it's under the cab. I'll show you under the cab where it mounts pops out of the frame here i am going to put a grommet you can see that yes the housing is kind of uh not the greatest uh, i guess that's just the amazon downside but once i put the loom over this it'll be perfectly fine i'm going to get this grommet nice and mounted and then it goes to this cable stop the cable will come out here and then go to my e-stop i've got my e-stop unit here it has a cable that comes through here it actually does go through my step there and then it mounts over here. This is where the two cables will go into. And then when it's pulled, the e-stop pulls this whole apparatus this way, which will pull the cables and actuate my e-brake. So that's gonna go to there. You're gonna see that uh, stop is where the cables come through and everything will pull. The next cable run will be really easy. It's gonna be really short. 
um, and everything should work out uh, pretty well. I'm gonna show you all what I'm using for the uh, the cable guide here. The Russell brake hose clamp. It's actually the exact same clamp I am using here uh, that I've welded to my axle. Um, so you can see normally a brake line goes in there and then that's what comes in here. There's a little clip, holds everything together. What I'm doing in this case is I am just gonna put this, it's going to slide down into there. I'm just gonna drill a new hole uh, plug that hole up with a grommet and then uh, we've got a nice mount it'll be nice and straight um, I'll definitely show you what this looks like when it's done underneath the, the truck I am using insulated P clamps to the bottom of the floor that's not gonna be a super big deal because it's underneath the truck so no big worries there um, but yeah uh, let me get this sort of sorted out we'll run the cable through again one more time and then I'll really show you what everything looks like all run and then hopefully uh, we can do some test pulls, do the other side and uh, call this video a wrap. All right, so we're back and I have run the cable and I'm gonna start on the driver's side right now and show you where I'm at and what I need to do next. So uh, the cable has come underneath the cab now. So started over on that side of the frame, underneath the cab, looped back around, done a tight bend here. So what I've done in this area, uh, I'm probably gonna refine this a little bit. I basically have a piece of clear hose just so it's not chafing. I could not find a grommet that could fit in this hole and was thick enough for the frame. So I'm just using a clear piece of rubber hose around there right now. And then it goes into this piece here, which is the cable stop. Now you'll probably notice from the last time in the video, the cable stop is lower now. When I had it higher in this hole and that hole. It was hitting underneath here. It was hitting the uh, cab mount. Um, so I've dropped it down now to avoid that issue. Unfortunately, I can't actually drill a hole down there um, because I have my fuel lines sitting right there and I'm not gonna move my fuel lines uh, to drill a hole and I'm definitely not gonna drill into my fuel lines. I'm gonna make a bracket that uses the holes that are existing up here and up here, has a stud on the bottom that protrudes out this way. Uh, it'll, pull, it'll push this out a little bit, which will actually probably help this bend some uh, and it'll all work out nicely. Um, and then once that's together, we will do a test pull on it and see how everything works. Before I get to making that bracket, which I will time lapse, uh, I figured I might as well just show you how things look on this side. So you can see that I've got my one, two, three, four uh, brake hose mounts used now with the grommets in between. Uh, there's some nice movement in here if anything needs to move when the axle goes up and down. Looks nice and tidy. Everything is reasonably level and straight. Um, and it looks really well. And again, looming it, you know, these two things, everything back here looks like it belongs and how it should, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, when I was setting this all up. So let's get to making that bracket. Uh, I'm gonna take some measurements on this side. We'll come over to the bench, uh, I'll make everything, and we'll go back over there, mount it, and then hopefully we'll be doing a test pull uh, tonight. So you have to forgive me right now. It's uh, pretty crude, but it'll work. So I've got the two holes for the upper mounting holes. Uh, one will double as the top mounting hole for the brake stop, and I've got my stud on the bottom, which will mount for the, which will work for the bottom one, which is the one that I couldn't put in the frame because of my fuel lines. Uh, but I will get this bolted up, and then you will see exactly what I'm talking about. With that done, the next thing for me to do is to run the driver's side. So I'm gonna put the camera somewhere where you can hopefully see me do this, um, but I will also explain what I'm doing in this video. I'll kind of overlay the audio. So the main thing that you have to do when you're doing this is just measure everything out, run the cable, and then you have to cut the outer housing 
uh, and then cut the, uh, the inner cable itself. Um, cutting the outer housing is pretty easy. You can just use a, um, a hose cutter for that. Um, and then I also have to install the clamps uh, that I'm using to hold the, the brake cable itself as well. So uh, that's going to take me a little bit of drilling and fiddling around, but um, shouldn't be too bad. So uh, I'm going to let the audio take over. We'll get through this and then we will come back at the end of the video where everything will be working. End of the video now and I have the driver's side cable run. You can see uh, it's a bit funky. So with these GM calipers, it's the same caliber front and rear. One is on the trailing side of the wheel and one mounts to the front side of the wheel. And um, because this is trailing side, it does have to do this little loop around here. I'm not super thrilled on how this looks with it just dangling here. So I am going to try and find something that will just hold it up uh, against the axle, I think, or maybe even just a little bit away from the axle. I'll see what I can find. For now, this will work. It just looks a little bit jank and I don't really love it. Um, but cable goes along through here, comes out here. I did have to use a split loom on this side because these grommets are a little bit smaller. So I do have to terminate all of the points. I got to do one here, one there, one there. Um, I'll do that off camera. It's not super exciting stuff. Uh, and then it just goes down there to where the other cable was. Everything pulls really nicely and works now. Um, and I think it looks pretty darn decent, all things considered. Um, it's not super messy other than, you know, this bit here. So uh, I do have to figure out a couple of things under the floor. I am using P clamps under the floor to hold it to the bottom of the floor. Um, and I just want to use uh, a little bit larger ones so that when the back axle does move, um, especially on this side, I've got some good movement in here, some good movement in here. I just need to have that same bit on the other side. So what I'm going to end up doing, um, I have a whole bunch of clamps here and I'm just going to go up in size from the size that was provided so that it can move along really well. That said, it is not rocket science what I'm doing under the floor there and uh, it's really hard to get a camera under there and get some light under there. So we're going to call this one done because it's been way too long since I've got a video out and for that I do apologize. Um, so I'm going to crank this one out and then the next video you see from me is going to be me finishing up the transmission tunnel because I finally got over losing the footage and I think I know what I'm going to do just so we can start that video out. Um, and then from there we can get back to uh, finishing things up so we can put the bed on. So to put the bed on next, uh, it's painting the drive shaft, painting that bracket, and then painting that one that we just made for the parking brake. Um, so that is going to be probably two videos from now, cleaning all of those things up, getting them looking nice, and then painting them. And then after that, we can put the bed on. And then once the bed is on, you know, the brake cable, all that is in place, we can get an exhaust made. Uh, and then after an exhaust made is a tune. Now I'm about a month and a half later than I thought I would be on these things. Uh, some of it is busyness, some of it is honestly uh, just getting the money all together to do all of this. But uh, I'm really, really hoping to get this thing going before uh, it's too, too cold. So uh, stay with me and we'll get there. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.